Welcome to the East Bossier Masterclass, Module 2, Topic 3. Today we would like to discuss, as an eSports manager, what should you focus in on? One, you're building your organization from the ground up, both from a macro and a micro perspective. Let's start with the macro. We always say intensity is key. So true, so very true. When we first wanted to tap into this industry about 10 years ago, we said, where do we even begin? We have the skill sets to create a product from a technological perspective and the mental acuity to create teams. What's needed first? What does the industry want? <laughs> we didn't even know at the time that esports was broken into genres with their own communities and all different from fighters to shooters, to Call of Duties, to your Fortnites, to your NBA 2Ks, to your MOBAs, your Dotas, League of Legends, all of those. Each of them have their own quality traits. They want different things. And if you do not know that, you will find yourself creating a product that may not adhere to many, which means you've wasted your time and money. A lot of esports companies make this mistake. We did it first. And as an esports manager, it's on you to save your company capital or to save yourself capital. When you're bootstrapping, find value in something that you intrinsically love. For us, it was sports. I grew up in sports. A lot of individuals from our team grew up in sports. Basketball, FIFA, Madden. How do we provide value to the sports genres, right? Where do we even start? Well, we recognize easily that sports games is way below the trajectory path of your League of Legends and your Dotas, <laughs> and even your Call of Duties. So we just understood that we have to put a lot of sweat equity in building out the community. You see these League of Legends, millions of individuals are competing and there's a lot of money on the line. When you see games like even Call of Duty and Dota, their price purses are in the millions of dollars. But we had to ask ourselves, why sports? Why are they in a such lower trajectory? And we knew exactly why. In sports, you pick a team and you compete against your friend that has another team. While in League of Legends, there are five individuals competing against another five individuals. That's ultimate engagement. And individuals like to be able to see the competitions that stems from that, which creates a larger fan base. And because sports didn't necessarily have this, we needed to figure out a way to build the community and hope that the 5v5 engagement comes. So we started to pick from other communities like the FGC. What do they need? Do they need marketing? Do they need a product? Is there a team that you can add value to? If it's the fighting game community, what technological platforms, like tournament organizing platforms like Smash GG, Battlefy, Tournament, you know, how to even build a tournament to build up the community? We needed to do this for the NBA 2K sports community. When we think about it, that's how you create value. And ultimately, that's how you showcase authenticity. The community sees that they need an uplift and people respect all the hurdles in which you had to jump over. You are not going to figure it out overnight. <laughs> it takes time, trust me. So let's look at it from a micro perspective. Think about if you even wanted to create a team like companies such as Complexity and FaZe Clan. What is the makeup? What sets you apart? Is it culture? Is it skills? Is it personality? As an esports manager, you have to identify your core niche when you first start an esports organization, I promise you. You're gonna to have to discover that it's a high trajectory and you have to be willing to go forward for your future. We'll see you for the next topic. Peace.